What does this purport to be and who's going to start? I'm going to tell you all about this uh, contraption. Um, it's in fact a, a canary resuscitator. So you might uh, know that down the mines, people had to take canaries down to check that uh, the common monoxide level uh, wasn't getting too high. But of course, people got a bit upset at these canaries all dying. So this was um, when they spotted the canary keeling over, they would take the canary out, pop it in here, shoot it with a load of oxygen and resuscitate the canary. Nina, you have a different story. I do. OK, so this was used for the understanding the levels of nitrogen balance with the Haber-Bosch process uh, to make chemical fertilisers. You'd put nitrogen into the gas, or levels of nitrogen in with the gas cylinder and check the levels of nitrogen that would be then absorbed by the plants. So, <laughs> it's either a sort of plant reviver <laughs> or a canary's iron lung. I have to say that the, the, the canary is very funny. <laughs> but I don't believe it at all. Oh. <laughs> um, I like that the Harbour Bosch process was very important for producing fertiliser, and I could well believe that could this, this work is some for that? gas apparatus. I don't think they cared about the canary. I don't think they cared about the canary. Might, yes, I think they just thought, well, that's that's the science. A He's penny. a sacrifice to science. Yeah, but I think would. that no one would have bothered got a perch. to take one down. <laughs> yeah, they even put a perch in there to, you know, and a, it, you know, a little a little mirror for it to play with, yeah. something to eat. <laughs> so, Helen and Kate, what is your decision? I think it's the Harbour Bosch process and something to do with measuring ammonia. So, Nina, is it for measuring ammonia? I was lying! Oh. <laughs> oh. 